All right, so as usual for these learning sessions, we're going to go over our daily recap to start it off um, and kind of go over what, you know, kind of what we learned in the past ones. Um, and basically our first learning session was on candles. Um, now, the reason for our MU trade today was on candles and, you know, price action and all sorts of goodness there. Um, so let me just dive right in. Here we have a 15 minute and this is what, what would be almost like a spinning top. Um, and you can see from there, we obviously just died the rest of the way. Um, on the five and 10, five, you can see is, you know, kind of reject here. Sorry, that was a 10. Um, five, you can see us kind of engulf here on this bearish engulfing with the bigger red. Um, on the three minute, you can see we get a little toppy here. And again, what I've been trying to do recently, what has worked so well, um, is trade these names off the open that have just continued to the upside. And you can see MU from 49.30 all the way up to 51. So a $2 range, let's just say $1.80, $1.90, um, and straight up movement. So we're looking for pullbacks into these levels where these candles open and close. And you can see I talked about 54.50 being one. And you can see we start to stop here for the next move down. You see that right there. And then we absolutely just crashed under it. We also had these other two levels right here where you can see we supported and, you know, kind of resisted and then just dipped even more. Um, so MU turned out to be an amazing play. Sadly, um, we had a perfect entry at the top. Um, we made 25, 30%, whatever it was, got stopped out on the rest, literally right at entry almost, uh, two or three cents in profit. And then it absolutely went on to go 200 to 300% after that. As you could see here, it just literally dropped. Our 49 puts, I believe we had 49 puts. Hold on, let me just double check on that. Where are we, PayPal? 50 puts, yeah, even better. So we are a full dollar on the money here as it went down to 48.80. Um, our 50 puts went all the way into 150, 170. I think it even went to, to, to the twos. So you can see from our point of 47 entry, we got a little screwed there. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna go over, you know, a little bit going forward on what we're kind of going to do with those stops and everything going forward. Um, and that it, truly, um, as a trader, we're always growing, we're always learning. And that's where I want to get better. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, just like none of, none of us are perfect. As much as we want to be, you know, we can't be. Um, that is where I need to make my trading better. I, you know, getting stopped out on these things sometimes, putting my stops a little too tight, and then just watching it absolutely explode in my direction after. Um, and in this case, it did the same thing. Um, PayPal, another beautiful trade here. Um, you start to see this candle is the one that the reason actually why I went short. Um, this green candle. And it's funny because, you know, this kind of reminds me of, in a way, a, in a way, a spinning top. It's not what, you know, people usually look for. Or it could kind of even be an evening star. That's what I was also kind of looking at. Um, and that candle could be green. You see how we lift up here? And it does the same exact thing as here, you know, we kind of lift up a little bit. This one's a little exaggerated how it gaps up, but you could see we started to, you know, form that same downward movement. Um, and that's actually where I got entry on, on that first red candle um, after that green that we had on the five minute. Where is it? Or was it the three minute? Sorry. Yeah, three minutes. So I got in once we closed under here. Um, and you can see on all sorts of other time frames, we do kind of get weak. You got the same kind of setup here. You got weakness again, continuing. Um, 30 minute, I think it was also ugly. There you go. 30 minute, you have a spinning top or possibly evening, evening star. Uh, wow, can't even speak right now. Evening doji star, evening star again. And you could see we just absolutely crashed down. This is another play that we missed, you know, full, you know, opportunity on, or at least more opportunity on. So again, that's why, you know, me personally, again, I want to learn and get better at 
fixing these stops, growing as a trader in that regard. Um, and that's also why I think we should really, you know, dive into this one. <laughs> why we should dive into this one um, a little bit more. So entries, exits, trims, and stops. Um, and lastly, hold on, let me just go over this really quick one here. So we had ES. Let me check what time we entered. Actually, I think I could even say when we entered. We entered probably, I could tell you right now. Um, we entered on this candle. I was looking for a long here thinking this would come up and it didn't. And you can see we went a little bit down after that. Um, now this was a riskier one because I entered already in the trend. I was talking about entering literally at the bottom, not even lying. When the contracts were 35 cents, they went all the way up into $1.50, 400 to 500 misplay. And again, I'm just saying this to show, you know, to explain to myself and not lie to myself. I know I miss these ideas. I know I'm not going to get every idea, um, but I got to work with it. And again, I, I, I truly, I kind of forced this trade in a way. We were up so much. I was thinking we were going to rip again and we didn't. Um, and again, that's my bad. You got to own it. You know, you're the trader. Doesn't matter what other people say. You're the trader. You're the one that pushed the button. You're the one that's got to learn from it. You're the one that's got to grow from it and so on and so forth. Um, so again, entries and exits, everything for me, me personally is on those candles that we were just talking about. For example, MU and PayPal, I wait for confirmation. So, you know, going off, if I thought this was this candle was weak, well, let's go to that better situation here where I start to see these two candles being weak. You got a shooting star here. You have a kind of reversal here and you see it kind of continue here. Then you see the weakness continue right after it. Um, on a 15 minute, you see a total different, you know, scenario. You totally see the weakness here right off the bat. You got the spinning top after that initial big rip. Um, I wait for confirmation under it. I wait for that move to really start. And you can see right here, we closed under that spinning top where that bottom wick was. I'll put it right where that wick was. And you can see we closed on, a, on this candle right here. We closed under it. And that's where I entered. Um, as you can see right after that, we literally just dropped down and then you can look at the price targets. Another thing I want to go over. And again, I'm, I'm just showing you right now and I'm going to dive in a little bit more in a second. Uh, where am I looking here? So here's why I get the first price target, the opening and closing of these two candles here, right at the open. Here's where I get the second price target. I believe it's on the three minute here. Yep. The opening and closings of these, the first two candles of the candles of the day. And again, you could see the, you know, the kind of stoppage right here on that. If we were on the five minute right now, where it kind of consolidates here for a few minutes, goes into the next one, kind of consolidates a little bit, but this one just, you know, really ripped down after that. So again, best entries for me, and I would suggest this for all of you, is on confirmation. And again, everything for me is on candles. So I'm looking for confirmation closes above or below those entry you know, areas. And again, this is a perfect entry area for me. We closed under, I'm looking for a short and I go in short there. Um, also in this case, market was looking a little weak. So we even helped my thesis. So entry there was perfect. If we lost on this trade, you know, so be it. The entry was perfect. It followed every single rule I had. You're not going to be 100% perfect, even if it follows your rules 100%. Just another thing to clarify there. Um, same thing with PayPal. We got short, you know, up here. We looked for confirmation, got it, and then we continued to fall. Um, again, I got stopped out a little bit here early, but we did get 20, 25% again on this trade. And I looked for confirmation. I got in and we fell. Perfect examples of entries there that we want to look for. Look for your confirmation. Do not force any trade like I did on that ES trade, that spy trade, I, sh I should say, right here. I mean, what am I confirming here? Um, I'm confirming that we went up. I'm not confirming there's a bounce anywhere. And, you know, obviously, as you can see, I lost on this trade. It fell because um, I was going for calls. I I truly, I risked it. You know, I, I played dumb. And that's why I lost. There was no confirmation. Follow that confirmation. And that's where you're going to get your entries. Now, this depends on your strategy and what you like. Again, for me, it's candles. So I, you know, that's why I'm showing you what I'm doing for the confirmation. Um, 
And for anyone new or anyone that also wants to just even rewatch that candle video, it's also another 15, 25 minute video. And, you know, you'll, you could see why I love candles and, you know, how they work and so on and so forth on that. Um, every trade I'm looking for is usually reversals, you know, big moves in one direction to play the other side um, and just price action and strength. So that's where I'm getting my stuff from. Now, going into the trims and let's do the trims first. Um, again, beautiful examples of where I'm looking to trim is MU. So let's just say, make it simple. We got in right here. Okay. 50, 70. We have a perfect trim here at 50, 20. Let's see this one minute for a second. Hold on. Yeah, here's why I talked about that 50, 50. It's kind of a little stuff there. Um, but yeah, again, so on the five minute, this is where our first candles really meet and we start to see some more weakness. Uh, this is where I want to put my first target. I put the little square box. I even put that in our chart when we entered the trade um, to show you guys where I'm looking for these targets. So entries, I mean, opens and closes of candles is where I look to, you know, especially on these big moves, it's the easiest spot where to see support and resistance. Um, this is where I had my first target. My second target was on a three minute. Sorry, I'm jumping around a lot, but I just want to show you the best of my ability here. On the three minute, you see this 50.02, 50.10, and you can see that stoppage there. Um, I just saw someone said I'm on mute. Okay. Um, and that, that was our next open and closing. And then, you know, which we didn't get to it because we got stopped out. We would look for this wick on the next one. We would actually look for this opening here, which it looks like it just literally blasted through. As you can see right here, it just went right under. Um, then we look for this wick. And you can see we started to get some support here, twice here from this wick, but it also continued down further after that. Um, but that would be where we look at next. PayPal, same thing. So I'd look for where am I looking for these candles to, you know, show me possible support? In this case, I'd probably look on the one minute because this one just went straight up in like one or two candles. Um, and really the only thing I'd really see down here is here. Uh, so in this case, I'd look at previous days as well. Um, and you could see support right here going across like where these, you know, where we get that continuation on the downside over here, where we get that break up even more over here, where we get the support right here. So here would be a big level like 68.40, 68.45. And then next would be down here at the open and the wick. You can see the wick even showed some support a little bit where I try to, you know, get there and hold it. And then it just rejected down even more. Um, so this wasn't the best example on this one, but MU is a good example. You know, I'm looking for those candles. I'm looking for that price action, looking where openings and closings of candles, you know, connected and trade those price targets from there. Now, here's the big thing. Um, trimming. That's where I trim. So MU, we actually did trim. Where did we trim? Uh, we did trim here. Now, I don't know. Or maybe we trimmed up here. I think we did trim up here because I was talking about this 50 50 and 50 35. And you could see that's where we started to move here. Now, I don't know how we really got stopped out because it wasn't really, I literally was like two or three cents in profit. And we trimmed at 56 57. Our entry was 47 cents and the stop in profit was 51. Um, we literally just got stopped and then it just absolutely died after that. So, really stinks. Um, and again, this is where I'm going to dive in a little more in the next few minutes here on these stops. But, you know, I'm trimming once we get to these key levels. I would have trimmed again here. I would have trimmed again here. And while we're trimming, by the way, I would have kept raising my stops um, to just lock in more profit if, you know, let's just say we had a massive reversal like this, um, but it happened up here, you know, we're locking in that profit to keep it. Um, now, here's why I want to talk about these stops. And this is something I can't really put on the screen, really. Um, it's something I just got to verbally talk about. So 
good example. We had, and I'll answer uh, questions in a second, but we had, you know, the MU trade at 47 cents, okay? We had 50, we got 20, 22% at 56 cents. Um, we put the stop at 51. So what I really could do going forward is instead of putting it right in profit, and this is only five cents below, so it could have been a quicker move. Um, you know, I could put it at 47 cents. So at least we stopped break even on the rest and we trimmed, you know, in profit on the others. So we made money on half the contracts and just broke even on the others. We could do that. That would possibly hold us in positions longer. Um of course, we may lose a little bit of profit because of what we could have stopped in profit on the like just like this trade. You know, what if it kept going up, and what if it didn't go our way? Um, we would have missed out on four cents of profit, and you know, in this case, like twenty five, thirty bucks. But still, it adds up. It, it's money. Um, and the challenge count is a little low right now. You know, twenty seven hundred. So anything adds up, and it all you know can become larger and larger. Um. <clears throat> So I think what I'm personally going to do and what what I've been doing is putting these stops, you know, a little bit in profit. And even for a couple of weeks and a month or two now, you know, I've been getting stopped like this a lot recently. So I think I'm really going to change it to either putting it one cent above entry, you know, putting it one or two cents above entry for profit or just keeping it right at entry. Give us that extra, you know, cent or two um, to lock us in on possibly getting a larger move like today where we missed out on literally, I think the, I think it literally hit our stop and then ripped after that. I literally think it hit it to the penny and ripped down after that. So that's what I want to do going forward. And stops is a big key. When you do set trims, you know, please set your stop, you know, like we're talking about now, either at entry or one or two cents of profit. So you don't hold it if it keeps, if it goes the other way and anything could happen, especially this week, there's a low volume. You've seen the moves that we're having choppy, you know, you're getting theta burned, so on and so forth. You got to be smart. And this is any market. It's not just this, you know, this week, you got to be smart and you got to take those profits and, you know, set yourself up for success with these stops and trims. Um, so what I think is, You know, please do. We're going to set our stops. I'm going to set mine basically even or one or two cents in profit. So I do lock it in if need be. And it just also closes me out of the trade when I need to get out of it. Um, you know, that's kind of where I'm going here. Um, I, I really want you guys to watch those candle videos again. And I should be, I think I might be able to host another live session or live learning session. Um, this week i will have to see on that um again as usual we'll be live trading every day um but yeah we we again we missed opportunities today it is what it is i, I tried to force an opportunity i lost on it um still ended green for the day so that's good but i could add more um and again 100 percent, you're not going to get every trade you're not going to get every play to the fullest and that's not the goal um you know you want to win you want to learn you want to grow and that's the whole thing of trading, preserving that capital and continue to grow as a trader, as a person um, and grow that, you know, account truly. Um, let's just continue to dive into these trades that we know are good. And I, I kind of want to stray away from these risky or trades, just like I said on spy here, you know, risky small day trade. I risked a couple, you know, bucks in profit and I, I lost it. Um, I don't really want to do those anymore. I really thought we were going to get it. And again, it's also because of mentally, I missed the trade that I said literally at the bottom. And that that's what pissed me off. So I could I could even shorter from the top. We had perfect, you know, possible short entries and I just messed up. You know, you are the same. Oh, sorry. That's the beginning of the day. Um, you have a spinning top here. We could look there for downside. I, you know, I'm just overlooking it and I'm getting mad that I missed that bottom trade. So that's why I entered. You know, these are just small mistakes that happen every day and they happen to good traders they happen to bad traders they happen to great traders you know we're all just trying to grow doesn't matter if you've been trading for a year you could be better than than someone that's trading for 10 years you know when someone that's trading 10 years is always learning someone that's trading 20 years is always learning um doesn't matter if they make millions 
in a year. They're always learning. They're always growing. They're always trying to get better. Um, that's what we all should be doing. Um, any questions? I mean, I, I don't really know how to dive into this one a little bit more, but, you know, I could definitely do that with some questions. Um, by the way, thoughts on trading just buy or SPX options. Um, so most stocks emulate the spy move anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, mostly, you know, that's true. So there is days where spy may not move though and individuals will. Um, that's why I just kind of look, you know, across the board. I love trading spy though. Um, and I prefer trading spy, especially if a smaller account. Um, because there's I, I don't want to say less risk, but obviously less money value, um, and the contracts don't move as crazy as SPX would. Um, kind of to try to answer that one. Um, but yeah, you know, send your questions and we'll do another five, 10 minutes of questions and then we'll uh, basically been, uh, go from it there. Yeah, I want to look to finish this week really strong, especially after the misses we had today. It's just so upsetting. See you guys typing, so... Uh... Any percent of initial stop loss when you went? Uh, okay, so actually that's a great question, and that's something I should have definitely said right off the bat. Um, okay, so any percent of initial stop loss when you enter a trade? For me, it's all mental. So, for example, um, let's just say, you know, let's use this for an example. Um, the one that we lost on today. I was looking at this trade. I talked about 3826. If we got under that, I'd sell. Um, we got in definitely not up here. We got in right about 31 or 30. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I can tell you exactly when we got in. I was looking at that 30 minute. Yeah, it was right about 30, 30 point, uh, 3830. Because I was saying we could get up to 3833, make this go green. Um and we were chopping between 27 to 33. Um, now, I talked about 26. That would be my key level. Um, we did break below 26. And the reason why I said 26, you're probably going to see it right here. We were chopping in between that 38.27 to 38.33. So if we got under that, where are we? Hold on. Okay, so we got in right about here on this candle probably or right here at the bottom of this green. And you can see we were holding this 27 along the whole way and 26 along the whole way. Um, and you can see we kind of breached a little bit and then it just, just kind of chops and so on and so forth. We didn't hold it all the way to over here. Um, I think we got stopped out on this candle right here where it went under. Um, and either way, it would have just later burned all the way until this. Probably wouldn't even have made any money if maybe a cent from here. Um, you know, mentally, um, going into trades, I have mental stops. And that depends on levels that we're reacting to at that time. So um, let's just pull up MU here. I'll give another example. If we entered at 50.70, where I think we did just about like right here, I'd look to mentally stop out if we get over, you know, these two levels here and we get it with strength because we have two openings and closings here. We have a top wick here at 51. And we have, you know, a couple of wicks, a couple of cents above. I'd sell out if we get over this right here uh, mentally. So we got it at like 50.70. You know, I'm giving it 30 cents there. And, and the contracts on, on MU, that 30 cent move would probably be a six to seven cent move on the contracts. Um, so maybe 20%. But also thinking about that with the amount of contracts we have, you know, that's 60, 70 bucks. So that's not going to kill me, especially on a $2,700 account. That's something I could easily go into the next trade. And, you know, I lost 70 bucks. It is what it is. You know, I preserved the rest of my capital. If it kept going, you know, 60 bucks is better losing than losing 150 bucks if I just let it keep running. So mentally, that's where I look for stops. 
Um, how do you find plays like MU early on? I talked about this in the uh, candle video too. So what I do every morning, literally right before the market open, is I look at this, I look at the top gainers, I look at the top losers. And by the way, this is no specific watch list. I, it's just literally stocks I've added to this list, you know, over time. Um, and I look at what's moving, you know, right at the open. And if I see something that's up, you know, 4%, just like Tesla. I mean, hell, we could even have played Tesla. And I was actually looking at it. It's just the contracts were like $4 a contract. It just didn't really feel like it. Um, but you could see, literally could have had the same perfect move here. 115 all the way down to 10, 108.50, let's say. That five minute look, you know, weak. Uh, probably need better time frame. So let me just pull it up on here really quick. So now I want to look now. Um, but yeah, I, I look, I look for trades like that on that scanner that, or not scanner, just watch list I have. Um, yeah, look at this. You have a weak handle here, continue down. Again, we talked about that five minute. Where is it? This is a maybe a tweezer top or maybe a little. Uh, I don't want to say bearish around me. I would say tweezer top. You see, we have it here. Actually, kind of perfect. If you think about it. You got the longer wicks, longer candle, and then you got the little one in between it. Longer wicks, longer candle, little one in between it, and it closed inside of it. Um, so tweezer top there, and then you could see it continue down there. And again, we talked about that 15 minute too just a second ago. Same thing, weakness down. Um, so that's exactly how I look for plays like that. And Tesla again could have been another one because this was one of the leaders right at the open. Um, MU was one of the leaders right at the open that continued up. PayPal was one of the leaders right at the open that continued up. Um, so that's where I look for that. Uh, yes, Amit, I did answer that. So I'll answer it really quickly again because it was a quick one. Um, Yes, uh, SPY, you could trade 100% uh, anytime, um, as most stocks do emulate SPY move anyways. Yep, um, I would refer to trading SPY over SPX, especially depending on your account size, as SPX is a little more riskier. Again, I don't want to say it like that, but it is um, as it moves more and it takes more money to, you know, play SPX. Um, and again, you know, with that, you know, SPY may be chopping one day and individuals may be running that day. So that's another thing to kind of look at. Um, that's why I don't kind of constrict myself to SPY as much as I did days and weeks ago. Um, hopefully that answers that a bit. Um, is there any more questions? If there's not any more questions, I'll, I'll basically, you know, end it off right here. Um, keep it a little short. Um, and again, you know, we're going to come back strong tomorrow. Let's, let's straight our hearts out. Let's, let's wait for those right opportunities and, you know, make some money because again, we missed a lot today. We had, we left a lot on the table. Um, and again, not going to be perfect. There's always another day, you know, thank God. Um, and we'll trade from there. Uh, 2,700. I have to see the exact amount. I think it's like 2690 something. Um, and I'll post that by the end of the week too. Um, but yeah, basically that's about it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to end it here. Um, and I'm going to post that candle chart again. Uh, sorry, that candle video again. Um, for you guys to watch. Other than that, have a great night. We will come back to trading tomorrow and let's be smart. You know, we got to do better than today and we will continue to do that. Work together as a team and grow as a team. And that's the goal. Have a great night, guys.